Hi, this is Daniel from CR Kennedy, the Leica Icon distributors in Australia. Today we're going to take a look at your Icon home screen and have a brief overview of the apps and buttons. When you first turn on your tablet and Icon launches, this is the first screen that comes up. This is your home screen. This screen is separated into three different fields. You have applications, data and settings. So apps is for all the installed apps that you have under your existing license. Data is where you do all your drawing and report management. And settings is for your equipment and software configurations. If we take a closer look at our apps, the first one you've got here is As Built. Now As Built is simply just for measuring and recording existing site conditions. Now if we quickly open this up and have a quick squiz at these two buttons at the top here, it's a good idea to familiarize yourself with these buttons. You've frequently been using these while you're on site. So first button here is your total station settings. This is where you modify your measurement mode if you want to turn on your laser pointer, guide lights and your level information. Next button over is your controller and target information. This is where you choose your prism type or whether or not you're tracking to a prism or using reflectorless. This is where you select your prism height, automatic turn to point, battery and memory information and a number of other settings. So good idea to understand what's in there and what they're used for. Next button over is layout points. So this is if you've got individual points you want to set out. So if you want to find point number one, number two or number three, this is where you find those points. They're typically intersection points on lines or line centers. Next one over is layout lines. If you want to be tracked and locate this individual line, say you're marking out a trench and want to be tracked on this line instead of guided to an individual point, this is where you do that. Next we have checks. Checks is nice and handy. You can use it for checking dimensions of new data or existing data. Say if I wanted to know the distance between point one and two or point one and three, you can have all this data brought up for you. Uh, next you have sketching. Really handy tool here. Again, you can edit existing data or create new data. There's a number of different sketching tools you've got in here. I've got a separate video on this here that goes into a bit more detail. Handy if you need to make some quick modifications while you're on site, put in some offsets on grid lines, that sort of thing. And lastly, you've got setup. So this is the button you'll use when you're setting up your total station when you first arrive on site. So you're either using pre-surveyed coordinates for setup or you're using a control line or grid lines or even existing walls for setup. This is also where you transfer your heights or your RLs. And you've also got a little calculator here, comes in handy sometimes. Okay, next we have data. This is where we manage all our project info, starting from say projects and jobs, importing or deleting site data, exporting captured data, say to a DXF, or even generating custom reports. Perhaps you want a QA report for your stakeout tolerances. And you've also got some productivity tools here too. And last thing we've got settings. Pretty straightforward, you've got system, basic software setup information, units, depending on what country you're in or industry you're in, you can change your units here and tolerances. And lastly, devices. This is where you manage your devices that you've got connected to your software. So say you've got an Icon Total Station and a GNSS Rover, this is where you manage those connections. Handy to note as well that there is a free simulator of the Icon software available. You can download it from the CR Kennedy website. It's useful to just familiarize yourself with the software a little bit and have a bit of a play around. If you'd like to take a look at some of my other videos, they go into a bit more detail on these individual apps.